is a brilliant teddy bear. How did you two survive the apocalypse? <laughs> Hello, Safe everyone. Man, thanks to you. Whoa. I won't make it long without food. Oh. Help don't come soon. We're okay. To head to uh, town. Okay. From cup. Meantime, maybe you can see if anybody needs help. Yes. Anything will help. I will. We're we'll safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. Yes. Deal. Okay. Send them away. People here need help. Send them away. We'll talk to them. And I got see this. I got this. Okay. So, it's from coming from Pamela to this game, uh, the mouse difference is crazy. Um, in fact, I actually have to change my options because I think it borked something hard. I where is it? It's probably controls, right? Mouse sensitivity. There. Let's uh drop that down a bit. It's still crazy high, but it's still better than what it was. Okay. The sooner you find what I need, the sooner you get the There you go, you man! I gave you the car part! Welcome back to Dead Island Definitive Edition. Um, I got a little bit pissed off at Pamela because, one, the game is incredibly obtuse. It's difficult to get the game to actually run. I'm not even kidding. It refuses to run whenever it wants to. It'd just be like, hey, guess what? You're not playing the game today. Um, it runs whenever it wants to. It's like it's its own program. Maybe it's Pamela. Maybe she is the game. Who knows? You're up shit's creek without a paddle. Uh, we're gonna take that alcohol. Hi, I gotta remember how to play. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's right. Kick to win. That, that's all I need to know. I don't know if anyone is here, but if you can, I'm all alone in a bunker. Antonio the Banderas. I miss Antonio Banderas. I can't recall the last time I saw him in a movie in recent history. If he has been in a movie in recent history, but uh, I would very much like to. See him in a movie. Hey, loot crate. Get some. <laughs> okay. But, uh... I was upset before because Pamela also crashed on me. Which was upsetting. Um, first time it crashed. Literally crashed. I got it to play for a while. And then I was talking and I was doing something. And then the game said, You are no longer allowed to play. So, that was lovely. To say the least. Um, of course, I can't open the door that he was banging on. Oh, I can. There we go. Don't worry, guys. I'm just going to open the door for every zombie in the universe. My, the mood lighting is pretty nice in here. I like it. Anyone behind here? No? No? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Ah! Look at your butt! Now let's uh, not be weird and creepy like that. Thank you for this stuff. Is she alive? There's blood here. I mean, this is The Walking Dead. I'm so thirsty. Ah, uh, no, you me, all, uh, Kim. The monsters can't get me. They can now. <laughs> I opened I'm really up. dehydrated. I believe you. There's all this energy drinks. You probably shouldn't be drinking that. This. Okay, wait. No, she's saying she's Just really. Just a few sips of water. She's saying she's dehydrated, right? Get out of my way, door. There's water in the toilet. The sinks have to work. This has to work. Are they just too scared? Again, if this is the Walking Dead universe, we don't want to be anywhere near this body. Okay. Let's um, talk to I her. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. This is a mission we can keep doing, I believe. All right. If I remember correctly. Oh. Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. <laughs> I have to say, Definitive Edition makes you a lot you more find creepy. Anything? There you oh, go. thank God. Thank you. Oh, wait, can we still... Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we can just give her all our water and it'd be My freaky like that. starting to cramp up. How much water have I given you? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's this thing where you can keep spamming it on her. And she's like, oh, 
Oh, sing. Oh, sing. Oh, sing. I kind of fucked it up, but... What? Um... Uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I'm sure you I are. I can't name is Teddy. Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. How did you two survive the apocalypse? All right, let's take care of the clear and present zombie problem, even though they won't actually do anything to anyone. <laughs> Just here being silly. Okay, there you go. You two are consumed in love together. Either are you gonna attack me? No, you're not. Because you're dead. Uh -huh. Um, that doesn't do anything. Take all this loot because nobody's gonna use it. What use is money in the zombie apocalypse? It really doesn't have a use. I'm just gonna drink this because I feel like it. <laughs> I don't always drink the energy drinks, but when I do, it's because I feel like it. Uh, 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 I that cool. I didn't realize I picked that up. Let's um, let's let's get rid of that. Let's put that there. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that thing. I knew you were going to attack me. I just knew. It wasn't memory or anything. I just had a feeling you were going to be a douche. Okay. Let's find the teddy bear. Because I like that quest. I think it's adorable. Uh, so we have to go... Great. Something's chasing me. Something much faster than me is chasing me. Of course, we have the advantage here on the stairs. That's a lot of them. <coughs> Track Pterodactyl! Okay, come on. I don't know how you hit me. Okay, you know what? It's not worth our time. <laughs> not worth another smidgen of our health. I'm just gonna drink this. Screw you. Um, so, going down here, it looks like. I must find Teddy. I'm on a mission from above. What was the point of going up there? I'm on a mission. I must find the teddy bear. When I find the teddy bear, I'm going to hug him and love him and then give him back to his owner. Hey, I'm confused. The thing clearly said to go that direction, but okay. Yeah, we're gonna go up here now. Cause pathfinding, OP. Sometimes you'll get absolutely lost because the pathfinder doesn't know where it wants to go. No, no, stay down, stay down. Stay down, get your butt on the ground. Monster, says the crazy waitress with the frickin' knives. Monster. You are a monster. Okay. We got this. Water garble. There we go. Okay. Later on in the game, when we start getting swords, we're going to be doing a lot better than we are currently. I mean, one hit is enough to completely mess them up. Uh... That's right, there's brutes around here. Oh, I hear you. Making horrible sounds. Jeez, all this way for a frickin' teddy bear. This better be the best teddy bear I've ever seen. Can't hurt to look. Ah. How dare you? Oop. I hate them so much. They always get an attack off. No matter what you do, 
They run up and they scratch your butt. And it, it's really, you know, it's insulting. Wow, that's insulting too. Great. Hello. Oh my god, Teddy. What have you done? Ugh. Oh, he's murdered people. Blood. Blood everywhere. Okay. What? The hell? What? What? Oh my god. Really? What? That was unprovoked. And I pressed H, and apparently I had no medkits. What? Uh, the fuck? Okay. Soaking into everything. Dead and done. The hell was that about? You fucking one of them? Why did he attack so me? I don't remember that in the game. The hell was that? I was completely taken by surprise. I'm, I'm not even kidding. That was shit. And no bloody end to it. Okay, I, I don't know, but we got the teddy bear. So Lucy's gonna be going crazy Blood. over there in the corner. Blood everywhere. I, I don't. I really don't even have any idea why he attacked me. I don't recall that. Of all the things I cannot possibly remember in the world, I do not remember a human character attacking you at the start of the game. That is something that I just do not recall. But that took me by so surprise. I was just like, had this dumb look on my face like, what the hell is happening? I thought it was like a glitch or something. No, it was. If it was, it's a hell of a glitch to happen. Um, I don't know. I mean, they did change a few things in Definitive Edition. For one, the beach balls, are, you know, you can't just kick them easily anymore. That's, like, the first thing I noticed. You can't just go, hey, fuck you, you know, it just sinks to the ground, you can never move it again. But, as for, like, NPC encounters, that's pretty crazy to add something like that. See, look, I can't even move this. I can slightly move this one. This one's a little bit more... No, that's not a word. Ow. Oh. Oh. oh, God, don't drown to death. Come on, come on, get up. Water bad. Would you like to try that again? Fuck you. <laughs> Cut off your pretty feet. Oh yeah. Uh, you know it's real. Ooh. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you. Special place in hell for you. Okay. <laughs> we just have to get over to uh, what's her face and give her her bear. I'm sure she'll be very happy. Um, I always found that the human enemies in this game are so much stronger than the zombies, and I always thought that was a little bit stupid. One of the things you notice is that the human enemies are so much harder to combat in melee combat because, well, they, they can't be staggered as easily. And that's kind of true. A human being is going to keep moving even if you, like, punch him or kick him. You have to kick him or punch him in the right place, otherwise the cells, the body is just saying, hey, get up, you know, fight, adrenaline, and all this shit. A zombie doesn't have those advantages, but the thing about the zombie is they're incredibly durable because they don't feel pain, so there's a trade-off between the two. Uh, the zombie has the advantage because of numbers, and they're super infectious, and they don't feel pain, they don't require limbs to live, they don't require blood, uh, they, they don't even breathe for that matter. But I, I always found the human enemies just a little bit too strong in this game because of these other factors. They're like, well, you can't stagger them, so they're just going to run at you. And you also... She scared the crap out of me. You find anything? Yeah, I'm taking your energy drinks because you're dehydrating the shit out of yourself. Is that a yo-yo? I think that's a yo-yo. It was a teacup. Teddy! Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. Okay, well, she's officially crazy. I mean, of all the things you can be in the zombie apocalypse, she probably has to be the happiest person in this game because after they nuke the island, she's sitting there with Teddy. Yeah, it's a good story. Good story. I do find those zombie-human comparisons, though, kind of funny in this game. It's just like... 
they wanted an excuse to add a new enemy to the game that wasn't a zombie. So they're like, oh, people. Let's add people. Let's add inmates. Let's add soldiers. Let's add random fuckers that get up and try to knife you to death for no reason other than you personally upset them. I don't know. Uh, we have the lost. Find Maggie. 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 I must find her. Okay. This is, apparently it's not tracking. Cool. You, you do that thing. No, apparently it is tracking. <laughs> the game is just being an awful, awful source of uh, information. Zombies all around me. Cool. I don't know where Maggie is. That's a zombie. Hell. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go there with that. Sounds like something we need to do. Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm seeing zombie skulls in this direction, so maybe Maggie is holed up somewhere? And that's why we couldn't find her before, because we're blind? I know you're behind me. I hear you. Okay, the, the zombie skulls have moved. Nope, there's more zombie skulls. What does that even mean? Sometimes it means this is where you're supposed to go, and other times it's just... Hi! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, apparently I can't throw anything. That's cool. Just gonna go in here and then run away. Okay. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Stay on the ground, please. You're triggering me. Ow. Why you do this to me? Problem with blades. No knockback. Oop. Oop. Okay. This is a zombie in the pool. He's having a good time. Get back in the water. Got this. There's a person in there. I know there is. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing any damage to this guy. Ugh. I need the execute. That's what I need. I told you to get in the pool, damn it. Stay down. Goodness. Gravy. Okay, we got some money. Got some more water. We could give it to What's-Her-Face for more money. I messed that up. Great. Who do you mind if I sit your butt cheeks? There we go. Uh, is there any loot anywhere that I can possibly use other than this? Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Please. Oh. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. Oh my god. He needs it. <laughs> I don't remember that voice line. <laughs> Please. Okay. Yes. Good. Look, you better go. He's running out of time. Oh my god. <laughs> this episode is filled with no nos. This is just terrifying. I don't know what to do. I was looking for this girl, but apparently I'll never find her because this guy was here in this place where apparently the game led me to for some reason. I don't know what's going on. What is that over there? Oh, that's my destination. Okay. Hi. Oh, nope. Excuse me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I just came there to kick you in the face. It's, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna kick this ball. Yeah, see what I mean? Fucking balls don't move. That's what she said. I just got knocked on my ass. <laughs> Hello. That was rude of you. There. Takes one to know one. He gave me his flexible... Okay, we're gonna stay away from those jokes for now. Ah, uh, it's one of the prettiest bungalows in the world. Of course, when I talk in a voice like this, it makes you think of Trucker Sally. Hey there, princess. Need a ride? Gonna kick you in the back. That hurts my voice. I can't do that. Ow. 
Surprisingly, it can do the Decker Kane voice on demand and be okay with it. It's like, I'm Decker Kane. I found my savage stick. Hmm. Maybe I can teach Diablo some manners. Or maybe, maybe you have quite a treasure there in that box that I got stuck in a wall. Great. Okay. So that that door apparently can't be opened. Way to go, pathfinding. Oh, let me. It, it wants me to go a long way around. Okay, okay, we do this. We do this. Either get off the door, please. Done. I want your money. Give me that money. I want that money. I think we already took the money. I'm blind, apparently. That's cool. This place is eerily quiet. Oh, there he is. Hold on, insulin boy. You'll be fine. Let me just drink this energy drink. Look oh, around. I'm so worried about you. Why are you worried about me? Dude, this is already uncomfortable enough. Wait, you're not my brother? No, he's dead. He must have sent you, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. That's sad, because you're going to die here. Oh, but thank you for the money. Goodbye. <laughs> you won't be needing it. Long to get in. I need help. If someone can hear me, hurry. Sounds like you're having a bad time. Sounds like you're having a very bad time. Sounds like I may or may not be able to help you out with this. I'm gonna drink that because I have nothing else to do in my life. Treasure hunter. Treasure hunter. How do I get out of here? I forgot. Oh, that's right. This door. Closed it to keep the zombies out. But it kept me inside instead. Oh, hi there. Oh, hey there, Mark. How you doing? Fuck you. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. If you are, let me know. And I hope you have a great day. Get out of my way. <laughs> Two for one. Bye.